One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, we're synced. So, you ready to meet Mr. New Mr. Prosecutor? New Mr. Prosecutor? Oh, yeah, because Edgeworth's the defendant. Who's going to prosecute? Himself! That's the mark of the greatest prosecutor of all time. He ah. has to get a guilty verdict on himself. <laughs> He'll go down in history as the greatest guy I mean, whoever I'd, lived. Honestly, that would be pretty impressive. <laughs> but couldn't he just didn't he just come out as guilty? Just say he is guilty? Well, that's not a challenge. <laughs> December twenty sixth, the day. Boxing day. <laughs> Nine forty four AM. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number Two. We've run out of boxes. Karma. Bitch. No, Edgeworth. <laughs> That's right, Manfred von Karma. Oh my god. <laughs> Manfred von Karma. He's the best prosecutor there is. Dun dun dun. He hasn't lost a case in his 40 year career. Holy shit. <laughs> He's the god of prosecution, right? A god. Not a single case. He'll do anything to get a guilty verdict. Anything. You know those glory holes in the bathroom here? <laughs> <laughs> anything. Uh, sounds like someone else I know, Edgeworth. That pain guy from the first case, he was pretty cool. <laughs> Honestly, Winston Payne is a really good guy. I mean, he's kind of full of himself, but like he's legitimately a good guy. His brother, though who appears in the more recent games, fuck Gaspin Payne. <laughs> Gaspin Payne? Yeah. Fuck that guy. Seriously, Winston Payne? Okay. Pretty good too. Uh, Gaspin like, Payne? Okay, I will. And then I pull out condoms. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> if I have to. <laughs> you don't understand. I mean, he'll really do <laughs> anything. <laughs> Uh, Manfred von Karma is a man to be feared. It's quite a claim coming from someone who forges evidence. When did he forge evidence? It was uh, it, the... it. It was. It was accused that he like people accused him of forging evidence, but it can never be proven. Oh, I, okay. I thought he was talking about one of our. Well, cases. I think part of it is also the autopsy report. Remember how that got updated? Uh, yeah, that was yeah. That, that there was some shady uh, shit going on there, but it, that was that was pretty shady. But I never thought. Yeah, I, I mean, I I wouldn't. I guess. I guess that could be a forgery. I I, I, I kind of just honestly. Took, took I think it. it was more withholding evidence. Yeah, that that seems better. More like, but yeah, if 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 this is like talking about his past, like his pre-game um, personality, then he taught me what it really means to. Prosecute. I, I think you mean prostitute by the way you're talking about this. I mean. <laughs> well, no, I mean, that's how they found him. He was actually on trial for being a uh, prostitute. And and then he uh, the judge mispronounced it one time, so he just like took the the, yeah, the, why not? the prosecutor's stand and, and became <laughs> to get out of the uh, you know the, the the punishment for for hooking. Uh, the picture of a prosecutor as vicious as me, then multiplied by a factor of 10? So 0.01? Alright, I can deal with that. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's a factor of 10! <laughs> so, 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 was he your teacher then, Mr. Edgeworth? Something like that. And now he's trying to get you found guilty? What a creep. Uh, here's a question. Oh. You can hear the audio of this game, right? You're, you're actually... No, I can't hear the audio. You can't? You need to. You need to do this. I mean, I, I don't care if I don't hear the, the audio. I can live without it. You need to hear this. There's okay. A... Um, that'll take a, a little... A little bit of... Of, of doing... Let's, um, let's, uh, yeah, let's cut to, to, to the inter... Play, play the uh, intermission music. Da 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 da. 
da 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 Okay, and we're back, this time with headphones on. Yay! And can you still hear any of the audio? Um, I, I've been, it was coming in and out already, so... I, I don't okay. know, maybe? <laughs> Alright. Oh, wait. Maybe he's planning on losing on purpose to help you out. You really, this guy's gonna break his fucking 40 year streak for Edgeworth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not a chance. He hasn't lost once in 40 years. 40 years! He's as ruthless as me, times 20, which isn't a factor of 10. Sorry for misleading you earlier. <laughs> <laughs> It's a, <laughs> um, that's, that's pretty ruthless. It's like she's got an abacus, like, that's ruthless. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, he's a god amongst prosecutors. Well, I mean, it's been pretty easy to defeat you so far, so what's 20 times zero again? What's, what's, what's <laughs> 20 times zero again? Uh, uh, I guess that's something... I guess that's something like Mia was to me, a god of lawyers. Or boobs. <laughs> Speaking I of mean, Amelia. you can be god of multiple things, can't you? <laughs> I, I suppose. I mean, Shiva's the god of, of creation and destruction. <laughs> Imagine if you were just the god of creation. It's like, ha! Ah, yeah, look at all this stuff. I don't need any of that stuff. Well, I guess I'll create a garage to put it in. <laughs> actually, in Pathfinder, it, the gods in Pathfinder, there actually are god, a god of creation and a god of destruction. I mean, <laughs> there's like dozens of gods, and they all do like intermingling things, but yeah, the most yeah, prominent well, ones are like creation and destruction. Two well, that was, an, that was just an, uh, an Eddie Izzard joke that I was, oh. that I was oh. copying. No, I, but yeah. I, I, uh huh. <laughs> you could really be using me as help right now, but if she doesn't show up at the end of the case, it won't be a Deus Ex Machina. <laughs> I I can't. Sorry, I tried, but you couldn't find me that waterfall earlier in the case. <laughs> it's it's Christmas. You'd freeze to death. This is California, Phoenix. <laughs> You couldn't reach? I think it's because I haven't been training. My powers are weak again. Oh no! Also, <laughs> something about, you know, having to be pregnant so the baby can boost my psychic energy. I don't know. <laughs> There's some show or movie that did that, and I don't know what it was. I'm trying to think of what it was. But like a, a baby being boosted with psychic energy? What? Yeah, uh... Like, having a child that was psychic inside of her... Well, I mean, that makes some sense. Boosted her psych psychic... Okay, it's coming clearer to me, but I'm trying to think of what it was, damn it. Uh... You keep thinking, I'll keep thinking. I'll try my best. I hope so. What are you whispering about? Oh no, nothing, just magic. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's time. Let's head in. Uh, December 26th, 10 a.m. District Court. Courtroom number three. The court is now in session. The trial of Mr. Miles Edgeworth. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Uh, um, Mr. Von Karma, is the prosecution ready? Hmm. Fool! You seriously think that I would stand here were I not completely prepared? Oh, oh right, right, my apologies. He's even got the judge scared. Well, your opening statement, please. Decisive evidence. A decisive witness. What else could possibly be required? <laughs> no, no, nothing, of course. That should be fine. Uh, the prosecution may call its first witness. What's with this guy? Is he royalty or something? No, he's a deity, you fuck! <laughs> God, what did Edgeworth just get done saying? What, do you even listen? Okay. 
I supposed to fight against this? I call the detective in charge of the case. Detective Dick Gumshoe. Okay, Gumshoe's first. Let's see how this goes. <coughs> Describe the incident. Now! Yes, sir. Detective Gumshoe looks nervous. Uh, please, take a look at the map. I'm the map, I'm the map, I'm the map, I'm the map. The murder happened late Christmas Eve, around midnight. If you look in the background, you can see Santa Claus. With an M16, it was Santa! <laughs> Illuminated by the glow of Rudolph's nose, you can see him clearly. Yeah, Rudolph's suit nose is been... really his red dot sight. <laughs> his red dot sight. And you can see his suit clearly caked in the blood of innocence. His suit was never supposed to be red. <laughs> huh. Okay. <laughs> we call... Oh, I, I don't- I wouldn't even put it past this game to have a case where they called Santa Claus as a witness. <laughs> the, the murder happened around Christmas Eve, around midnight. There was one boat in the very middle of the lake. There were two men on that boat. And now, there happened to be a woman camping here at the edge of the lake. At 12, 10 a.m., she heard two pistol shots. TWO PISTOL SHOTS! That's new. Uh, the boat started to move, and I went towards- it went towards the boat rental shop. Ran into one of the parked boats and then vanished into- out of existence. <laughs> Overhead map added to the court record. Oh yeah! Testify to the court about your arrest, now. Wait, Mr. Von Karma? Yes. Actually, I'm the one who's supposed to be handling these proceedings. Finger wag! <laughs> There's only one thing you need to do here. You will slam down your gavel and <laughs> say the word guilty! That is your role. Oh, 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 sure, yeah. That's what I'll do. I'm surprised that this guy isn't just like made an enemy of the judge. Like, yeah, no, innocent, fuck you. <laughs> uh, yes, of course, you're right, you're right. No, he's not! <laughs> With his testimony, the arrest of Edgeworth. Man called into the station around 30 minutes after midnight. We wait, a man? What? We headed to the scene of the crime as fast as we could. That was where we found Mr. Edgeworth. Now he didn't sus we did I didn't suspect him of anything at all, but the next morning a body was found in the lake. So we had to arrest Mr. Edgeworth. We had to, damn it! Hmm, I see. Very well. Begin your cross-examination, attorney. Now! The, <laughs> the judge. Uh, huh. Wait, do I not get to cross-examine the... the... the first part? Oh, the, the first part was just, like, a statement of facts. As opposed mm. to a statement of observation, I guess. Oh, okay. Like... <clears throat> A man called into the station around 30 minutes- What man? What man? Dead man. Uh, yep. And there was a woman camping there. She was the only one who heard the two gunshots, right? Objection. Object your own ass! Did you hear you his fuck? objection? Is that objection not uh, fucking terrifying? Uh, that that woman and the man who called in the report are two different people. But 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 uh, 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 <laughs> their testimonies were quite similar. However, today I have summoned the woman who was camping. Woman who was camping, but a heart. What happened next, detective? We headed to the scene of the crime as fast as we could. Uh, all right then. So we found Mr. Ed let's 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 uh let's see about uh what was Mr. Edgeworth like when you saw him. Well, from what I saw, he looked pretty relaxed. Not like a murderer at all, really. <laughs> Objection. Detective, the court requires your facts, not your opinions. Hey, he's a detective. He, has, he can give opinion on that. 
Yeah, he's like an- he's- he's literally an expert witness. <laughs> he has the experience required. Facts only, detective. Hard, cold, objective facts. So, stuff YouTube commenters would call nitpicks. <laughs> only something a YouTube commenter would call a nitpick! <laughs> <laughs> And he has his share of objections. Yeah, well, you have your share of, of hold it's so f f fuck fuck off. But let's 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 get him to say. Let's get him. Why didn't you think he was suspicious? <laughs> you should know. I I should, but I need it on record. <laughs> a new trusting relationship with the prosecutors. <laughs> Interested in your musings. Deep trusting poppycock. <laughs> I've never heard so many flippant comments <laughs> from an active detective on the force. Oh, poor guy. <laughs> Continue. Stargate! Now! <laughs> That's where it was from! That's what? where I was- Okay, in Stargate Atlantis, there's a character that gets pregnant, and she's already, like, partially psychic, but her baby is partially. also sarc is also partially psychic. So when she's pregnant with the baby, she gets, like, super psychic powers. I don't even remember what our initial conversation was about, but I remember baby pregnant psychic. That, that's just what I remember. Oh. <laughs> baby pregnant psychic. It was about Maya not being able to conjure up visions of Mia. Right, she needs to be pregnant. It makes it stronger. Yes, <laughs> I got it. Quick, Nick, get to work! My, ti my time has come! <laughs> Zip! <laughs> the next morning, a body was found in the lake. A body of who? Did you find any clues on the body? A single bullet was recovered from the body. He was shot through the heart, fatally. And here's that bullet! <laughs> and then he, like, coughs it up into his hand, like... <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, he didn't strike bones, so its shape was well-preserved. Well, the court accepts the bullet into evidence. Dun-dun-dun. <clears throat> Shot through the heart, and you're too late. So... We had to arrest Mr. Edgeworth. I'm gonna press this just because I want to hear what he has to say. Fuck it. Why is that? Well, we found the murder weapon in the boat. The murder weapon? A pistol. An old pistol. That's like a shoe. That is a vital piece of information. Please revise your testimony. You're right. Sorry, Your Honor. The murder weapon we found in the boat was decisive. Evidence. Press. Press! <laughs> I thought the pistol made it decisive. Tsk, tsk, tsk. Ack! He has the same evil laugh as Edgeworth. There were fingerprints on the pistol found in the boat. They were clearly prints from Mr. Edgeworth's right hand. What? <coughs> what? Order! Order! So Mr. Edgeworth's fingerprints were found on the murder weapon. Yes. Yes, Your Honor. Judge, this is the weapon in question. Accept it into evidence! The pistol is added to the court record. You know, it just made me wonder. I wonder if anyone has, like, a fingerprint fetish. Oh, it's gotta be. It's, it's, it's gotta be. This guy in my YouTube comments, probably. <laughs> <laughs> the guy you've been arguing about with, with about Gurren Lagan and, yes, and Ruby. Yeah. yeah, best guy ever actually uh, ever answered my answered my tweet. <laughs> He's like, Ruby has more flaws, duh. Who, who's best guy ever? Do you don't know who best guy ever is? You no, gotta. Uh, I only know who like, cool guy is. It's cool guy! <laughs> yeah, best guy ever is um an, an anime reviewer who... um. Actually, recently just gra well, recently at time of recording, just uh, finished school, and now he's uh, uh, trying to to get his Patreon high enough to uh, do YouTube full time. He does like really good videos with like really intense editing, so sort of like mine, N not, not not as good, quite. of course. 
<laughs> well, I mean, it they're they're uh, slightly different. Like his are more like uh, effect effects heavy, and not so much like like rapid fire pop in heavy. Mm. He does like he does like more effects than um than um you know just just he- heavy density. I see. It makes sense. But still, his um his uh his timelines are a force to be reckoned with, and his like videos are very very deep and insightful. He did the video about Gurren Lagann. You 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 have to have seen that one, right? No, because I haven't watched yeah. Gurren Lagann. I don't usually watch like critical oh, analyses you you... until I, I see. actually watch the shows. <clears throat> That's all I say. Like like I haven't even watched Gurren Lagann, and I know it's a better show than fucking <laughs> Ruby. <laughs> Yeah. Well, you because Gurren Lagann has a shows. goddamn soul. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, it does. <laughs> uh, yes. So yes, um, that's the guy with the fingerprint fetish. You can talk to him if you need um, if you need if you need proof. Um, <laughs> members of the court, uh, we, uh, we now have the pistol used for the murder and the bullet found in the body. Detective. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. Was the bullet found in the body fired from the pistol? Yes. The ballistic marking on the bullet matched the pistol. Mm, uh, Nick! What, what is it? Okay. What, what is it? This is another conversation that comes up in almost every single game. What? Do you mean describing ballistic markings? Yes! Wait. Keep going, keep going. <laughs> okay. Shocking. To imagine someone here, a 16-year-old girl who lived in the mountains for years, no less, doesn't know what ballistic markings are. <laughs> Nick, he's glaring at me. Well, at least he's not staring at your tits. <laughs> no, his eyes are closed. How's he glaring at you? <laughs> Disc, very well. I'll explain. Actually, Judge, you do it. Ah, <laughs> uh, me? Me? <laughs> <laughs> Let's stick markings right on like there. the, f- the that, fingerprint. That exact what? line has been repeated in so many games. It, to the point where it's like a running joke, it like Chocobos in Final Fantasy. Uh, or yeah. not, not a running joke, but you know, like a recurring element. Like it's not a Phoenix Wright game unless they say the fingerprints of bullets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, or, I mean, like, it's, it's not a Phoenix Wright game unless you make a ladder joke. <laughs> it, 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 it's like it, it's one of those things you always have to have someone say although whereas the latter joke is endearing and they keep switching it up people I'm not really sure I don't think people really like the ballistics thing because it's just more like we get it already we've played through like <laughs> seven of these already yeah well I mean it's always got to be somebody's first time playing one of these games and I've they, never they don't understood know that if you're going to start start <laughs> at the fucking beginning cred fags man cred fags <laughs> Cred they just want to jump in late into the series to get the cred for playing the newest game, regardless of whether they earned it or not. What? Um, I mean, like, why? What, what kind of credit does that earn you? It just makes you look like an asshat. It, they, they don't care. <laughs> they they just they just want to be current. They don't care about having the experience. They just it's it's like you know um, it's like take taking a video of a concert with your phone. It's like, hey, look where I was. It's just like, really? You were standing behind your phone recording something? Great. No. You know, it's like those kind of people. Oh, you played the latest Phoenix Wright game. Did you did, did you experience the whole thing? Well, no, because there are ten of them or whatever. Yeah. <clears throat> How about continue? Yeah, it, it's, it's like, you know, and it ruins games. Like Mass Effect 3, they cut out every reference to the previous two games just so the cred fags could enjoy it. Oh god, yeah, I uh, hated that. Yeah. Ooh, did you pick Counselor Udina for the council in the first game? Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. I mean, Counselor Anderson. Yeah, because Anser- yeah. yeah, Anderson would actually be a fair and balanced counselor, whereas Udina was a yeah. fucking Cerberus chill. Yeah, yeah. Which is still bullshit. <laughs> I, I, I hate everything about that game. Really? I, I didn't hate everything. I thought they there were a lot of great <laughs> moments they did right in that game. Yeah, the I ending thought. was okay, I guess. <laughs> I'm going to kill you. <laughs> no, um, I thought, like, Thane... They, they did Thane incredibly well, I thought. With the uh, way they sent him out. 
Um, admittedly, only if you did certain things a certain way, because, you know, Captain Curry gets killed. I feel really bad about uh, Or lives? I can't remember. It's been yeah. a while. Been, but... Oh, yeah, Kur Kurihi. He was the guy from the first game. Yeah, hold the and line. And if Sane died, then Kurihi takes the hit for the uh, uh, Solarian Counselor. Yeah. Uh, yeah, like, there were there were some moments that were, um... There, there, were, there were some moments in that I, game. I loved the um, the Krogan Homeworld segments, because there was so much variation going on there. I liked the Krogan Homeworld segments if Morden had died in the second one. I liked the guy who they got to replace Morden. Why? Um... Uh, as, um, I just remember him being cool. I don't, I don't okay. remember specific details. Cause like, he was like, he was like a religious Solarian, right? I, I, I never was, actually went that route because I always kept Morden alive. Cause I like Morden. Oh. <clears throat> I, I liked my Solarian show tunes. <laughs> yes, I did too. But in, uh, by, I played, um. I played Racist Shepherd throughout, or uh, an entire campaign of Racist Shepherd, who never recruited Garrus or Rex, and uh, and killed all of the aliens in the suicide mission on the um. Wow. On the and and, and I couldn't be racist in Mass Effect Three. <laughs> like they took out a bunch of like the they they based they reduced all the options to like only having two possibilities and. Uh, I mean, it that was describes a bad game. the ending. Also, I feel so bad for anyone that shipped Shepherd, uh, uh, Shepherd and Jacob, like Fem Shep and Je uh, Jacob. <laughs> I feel oh, so yeah. bad for them. They got fucked over the hardest in Mass Effect. Uh, I know, I know. It's like, hey, Shepherd. They got fucked wife, over so hard pregnant. they didn't get fucked at all. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's uh, some, it's like that's some you bullshit. want to actually have a, a continual romance with this character from your last game. What are you, some <laughs> kind of gay? Uh, what? <laughs> what are you? What I know are it's you like gay. The, the, you want an actual romance? Yeah, that's gay shit right it's, there. It's no, no, no. We want tits and ass yeah. right now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I, I played, I, I played. You know, uh, like Femshep was was my main. And I, I was romancing Liara, and she... I, I romanced Liara, I didn't cheat on her in Mass Effect 2, and Liara simply would not speak to me in at all throughout all of Mass Effect 3. Like, I, every after every mission, I went into her little, like, uh, you know, uh, Shadow Broker room and, and tried to talk to her, and she was like, Shepard, I'm busy. I'm like, B bitch, I, I waited for you. <laughs> I didn't even fuck before the suicide mission. I looked at a picture of you, and she just didn't, didn't, there were no uh, okay, scenes with Liara. Admittedly, there might have been some hand work there, but I mean. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I yes. mean, it, like, like I, I felt really, like, because I romanced Ashley, because I actually really, like, people are like, oh, Ashley's a bitch, and I'm like, no, Ash is awesome. <laughs> like, like, as someone who comes from, like, a, a, a religious background, having someone who is a religious character in game, at least, and be kind of moderate about it as well. It's very refreshing, yeah. you know. See someone who's a positive take on on re, you know religious, yeah, you know, on religious belief. Uh, yeah. But not only that, but I thought she was just like a cool character concept. She was kind of a badass, and we got to have our like we saved the damsel moment in the very beginning, and then from all, that <laughs> point forward, we're all badasses together. It's like, it, it's like it did everything right there for me, and like. It, 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 like I waited for her, and then in the final game, like she's like she's pissed at me, and she wouldn't mm -hmm. trust me at all. And I'm like, yeah, I, I'm like it's because of it's because of Cerberus. Like, she she's like you're with Cerberus, man. And it's like you were with Cerberus, man. <laughs> yeah, it's a god. Yeah, the only thing that they, 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 the one thing they could have done to fix all of those issues for me personally was if indoctrination was real. Oh yeah, I I, I um that that yeah, theory that was, was so awesome. That was an awesome theory. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, but you can tell. Yeah. I, I had an idea. I, I wanted to. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. You know, I I do have fun oh. like plotting in my head how these actual court cases would work in real life. <laughs> because I think it would be really interesting to see put in front of a, a real court. Have you ever seen the um, 
The 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 book how to uh, use courtroom drama to win a case. No, I haven't. <laughs> the 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 author's name is Wright. <laughs> oh yeah, I think I have seen that. It's a, I think yeah. that's a meme that went around the community. Yeah.